Okay, just to review, we can take benzene rings. We can treat them with nitric acid and some other really strong acid, often sulfuric acid. We can make the nitrobenzene. We then can treat these with something like hydrogen and palladium and carbon or other reagent combinations to make anilines. And anilines are important because they're a really flexible uh, functional group. But to exploit the flexibility of an aniline, we need to first convert it into something, something different. This is going to be a diazonium ion. And to do this, we're going to treat this aniline with sodium nitrite and HCl. And we're going to get a diazonium ion. It's a diazonium chloride. Since we use HCl, we get the chloride salt of the diazonium. What does this really look like? Let's draw out the proper Lewis structure for it. Looks kind of crazy. It is a bit crazy. It's called a diazonium ion. In fact, this is a, this is a diazonium chloride salt pair. So, um, how does this reaction occur? What is the mechanism? This is going to be a long-ish mechanism. And it's actually going to start with our sodium nitrite. It's not nitrate. It's nitrite. It's NO2, not NO3. Oh, boy. Okay. Get everything in there. We Treat this with um, HCl. There's water in there, so it's really H3O+. Plus. And we protonate our nitrite. We get to here. This is going to get protonated again. We have to protonate twice. Protonate again. To get to here. Now this uh, this water this is just a good leaving group, and one of these oxygen lone pairs pushes that out, and what we get, if you follow the arrows, is we get this um, positively charged species. This is called a nitrosonium ion. Make that distinct from the diazonium ion. And this is um, a really good electrophile. So what happens is our aniline attacks the nitrogen. Always watching the time. And that makes our key nitrogen-nitrogen um, bond did I say it's a long mechanism? It is a long mechanism. Well, now we got to move around some hydrogens. So we pluck a hydrogen off that uh, nitrogen next to the benzene ring. And we're going to put it back on this oxygen. So now our goal, if we look in the upper right, We've got to get rid of that oxygen. How are we going to get rid of it? We're going to protonate it a bunch, convert it to water, and make it leave. So everything we're doing here is all in the name of getting rid of that oxygen. That's protonated. We can draw a resonance form of this. I'd like to finish this in the next minute. Let's see, we're getting pretty close. Now let's do, if we don't totally finish it, that's okay. Pluck off that hydrogen. I'm not going to hold you accountable for this mechanism in class, but the kinds of steps that we're doing here are the sorts of things that we're going to use in other reactions. So it's not a bad thing to be exposed to them. So now again, we got to get rid of this OH. So let's protonate it one last time. Ay, 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 this is longer than I thought. Now that oxygen's a leaving group, this nitrogen can kick that thing right out. 
that gives us the triple bond between the two nitrogens that we want so much and gets our diazonium ion. So that's the total mechanism for this. But the key thing is this reagent on top of the screen, sodium nitrite and HCl converts an aniline into a diazonium ion.